Hello girls, I'm coming to you this morning and um, to try to make a small tutorial on hopefully eyebrows. So I'm not the best at eyebrows, but you know, you never get better until you try. So today we're going to talk about how to shape an eyebrow and I'm going to be using Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Now this is in the shade taupe which is basically the shape, the color for blondes. I also have their, um, this is the Brow Wiz, but this is more like a powder, and it's the same brand, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is in the same color taupe. So I'm gonna use both of these today, and I'm gonna be using also a brush that is by Sigma, and you can see it is a flat, edged brush, very thin, and this is a flat definer brush. It is an E15. So those are what I'm gonna be using to shape my brow. So when, when you start talking about shaping an eyebrow, here's how you first notice. You go through the crease of your nose and through the duct out of your eyebrow, of your eye, and that is where the brow should start. So right there, and it should basically end from the nose to the eye to the brow. So nose, eye, brow. So that's where it should end. So I'm in fairly decent shape, but at the same time, I'm not in a shape I want. So I'm gonna start and do the same thing uh, with both of them. First thing I'm gonna do is take out the spoolie. So uh, this is two-ended, one end has a spoolie, the other end has a, uh, where you can roll it up and down. I'm blind up close, so sorry about that. Huh. Oh, I'm about out. That's why it won't go up any farther. So it's a good thing I decided to make this video today. Anyway, so I'm going to first off start with the spoolie, and I'm going to brush everything up. That way I'm seeing my bottom line, where it starts. Now, I'm sorry if I'm going to have to look in the mirror but I truly cannot see by the phone, so hopefully you will be able to see. So I'm gonna start by making very short marks. Starting where I want, at the big part, I'm gonna start just making short little marks. Hopefully this is mimicking the hairs. So I'm just not completely coloring in, just making like hairs going up. What I want now is to define the bottom, what I want the bottom to go like. So I know I want it to go kind of straight. So I just did a straight mark, straight mark, and then to the taper off to where I want it to go. So remember I wanted it to go from the nose to the eye to the end. So I made the mark to the end, okay? That is pretty much the bottom. Now, because I don't want all those fuzzies up there, I want this part down here to be more tapered, I'm going to lay those hairs down. But I'm going to fill in with this pencil just like I did the others. I'm going to make some colors show up. So I'm small amount of color going up, going up to the edge. And I forgot to tell you about this part. So here's another way how you know where you're the crescent of your eyebrow should be. This nose and these eyes play all the point in the mouth in the world. So, corner of the nose and the center of the eye. It's a little hard for me because I'm looking right here. So, corner, center, crescent. Corner, center, crescent. I can do it here and it's better. So that right there is my crescent. But looking here is a little hard. I can't see it in here. <laughs> Sorry. It's. It's got to do with the way this thing turns everything around. Anyway, so I'm marking, 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 and then I'm going to start coming down, filling in that just a little bit. Don't want it real thick, but I do want it to have color to the end. So now I want the top to be a little bit defined, not great defined like the bottom, but I'm coloring it in and defining it. So there's kind of, you can see the two difference. That one's defined, that one's not touched. 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to define it further just a tiny bit with some more powder. Not a great deal because I don't want it to be really dark. But if you don't feel like you're getting good coverage with the pencil or you can do it one of the two, you don't have to use both. So I took my little flat brush and just, it's like eyeshadow almost. And so now I'm going to start same thing. Making color throughout. Making color throughout. Making sure that bottom is colored in. And pulling it down. Pretty much colored completely. Now we're gonna take that spoolie end again, the spoolie, and we're going to take those hairs and pull them up over anything that we've colored in. Why? Because that makes like the color goes away and instead it looks like the hairs grew. So now, last thing is the clear gel. It is still by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. It's just an old bottle and it's all the writing is out of it. This is clear. You can also get it in colored, which you know it might be taupe. So I'll go with clear because I'm afraid I'll mess up. So I do it, I pull it out. It's a little wand like mascara wand. And basically you go over those eyelashes just like what you, eyelashes, eyebrow hairs, just like what you did. You pull them up, you pull them down. This is kind of like a glue. <laughs> it's not a glue obviously, but it's kind of like it will hold them in place. So once that dries, those little hairs are gonna stay up and therefore your eyelet, eyebrows are gonna look like you didn't color them in as much. Here's the difference. Now, mind you, I have no mascara on or anything yet, so that may look a little strong with my hair up. No, yeah, but there's what it looks like without anything, and there's what it looks like when it's defined. Thank you, girls. Hope you had a good time today and you learned something. See you later. Bye. Just wanted to show you the finished look. I haven't fixed my hair yet, but at least you can see that my eyebrows don't look crazy with both of them done at the same time. So, see you girls. Be sure and shoot me a question if you have anything you need to ask. Talk to you later. Bye.